Who's this? Leona Zorn. Uh, oh, yes, 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 uh, yes, I did receive your note. Uh, I was very dismayed to hear that you and Harvey broke up. Well, I wouldn't say he's a close friend, he's a wonderful chiropractor. Dinner Thursday, uh, Thursday, Thursday. Nuts. I think I have something on for Thursday. The, the following Thursday. Uh, uh, gee, I think I have something on for that night, too. Uh, could you hold on, Mrs. Or uh, the doorbell's ringing. Jesus. <clears throat> Sit down, I have to talk to you. Wait a minute, Leo, I'm on the phone. Uh, Mrs. Zorn, uh, yeah, you had said dinner the following Thursday, but I think I have something on for that night. Uh, uh, let me check my diary, I'll be right back. Leo, there's a woman on the phone who wants to ask me on a date. Yeah, so? So her husband is my chiropractor. So what? He left her for an ice skater in Las Vegas. What does she look like? Like the kind of person that you leave for an ice skater in Las Vegas. So what's your problem? The date you fixed me up with was unusual, but charming. It's all right. I know you didn't like him. It's not that I didn't like him. Set in the late 1970s, Chapter 2 is a semi-autobiographical play about Neil Simon's relationship with his second wife. Recent widower, writer George Schneider, is encouraged by his younger brother Leo to start dating again. This sends George into even more depression after a series of bad matches. Then Leo comes up with Jenny Malone, and she's a keeper. Still, it's a bumpy trip on the road to dreamland for these not-so-young lovers. George and Jenny stumble on, overcoming both their hesitation on the rebound and emotional neediness. Uh, I'm curious, and, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but uh, how was I described? Not gorgeous but an intelligent face. Well, yes, it's true, I have. You can ask my face anything. Well, no matter how old or experienced you get, the process doesn't get any easier, does it? What process? Mating. Mating? Oh, oh God, is that what we're doing? <laughs> Haven't you noticed? I mean, the first thing I did when I passed by you was I inhaled. I got a whiff of your fragrance. See, in our particular species, the uh, sense of smell is the determining factor to sexual attraction. This is just a guess, but do you write for Field and Stream? 